education remains an illusion. Unemployment is at all time high. Businesses are shutting down. Jobs are being lost in record numbers. And the capital needed to jumpstart the economy is going elsewhere. Nigeria is perhaps more divided now than ever before. We are increasingly divided along regional, religious, and ethnic lines. Nigerians are also divided by class. A first string gulf between haves and have nots. The fault lines of this nation are widening and are learning. We must do something fast and we must be brave about it. We must ensure that the security of lives in Nigeria as things stand now, no one is safe in this country. No one feels truly safe. We must restore the sanctity of the rule of law and strengthen democratic institutions in order to build a just, fair and equitable society for all. We must rebuild the trust of our people in government. We need a new generation of leaders that are competent, and with the capability to rise to the challenges of the 21st century. We must pull this country back together and rebuild block by block with dedication and commitment. You will agree with me that this is an urgent task that requires the concerted efforts of each and every one of us. If we look around today, what do we see? What is the condition of our citizens? Where are we as a nation? How are we perceived locally and internationally? Why are we not making the expected progress? Why are we not growing? There's no time to waste. The time is now. To come together to stimulate growth in Nigeria, especially in the national economy. The choice we face in the forthcoming election is either to keep things as they are or make a radical departure from the old ways. <laughs> to find a better way of doing things or keep repeating the mistakes of the past. <laughs> to fix the problems or keep compounding the problems. It is with all this in mind and taking account of all For you who have ideas, you have capacity, you can do many. 
we will make sure that there is the opportunity for you to achieve this goal, your potential. We will secure this country and we will design a national security architecture so that everybody is safe once again. My plan is to protect all Nigerians and defend their constitutional rights and freedom. I will send and stand for uphold this principle of the rule of law, which is the bedrock of democratic governance. Ours will not be a selective fight against corruption. No. The emphasis will be on strengthening institutions with a particular focus on deterrence. We cannot afford to compromise our institutions with proxy wars against perceived political opponents. I offer leadership driven by empathy, where leaders are responsive to the citizens, where they know that government cares. We will not be indifferent or turn a blind eye to the real concerns of our people. Every single Nigerian life matters. For me, the leadership we deserve in this country is the one that will be a source of pride to all Nigerians. One that will be respected and admired in Africa and around the world. It should be a leadership that can hold its own and stand anywhere in the world. This is the type of leadership I will offer. As a former two-term governor, current president of the Senate, by the grace of God and the grace of my colleagues, I believe and possess the unique blend of executive and legislative experience. I push for and implement reforms that will deliver real improvements to the daily lives of our people. I know what it takes to create jobs and grow the economy. I can make tough decisions when it matters. I will spare a new agenda that can transform the lives of ordinary Nigerians in real terms. Believe me when I say that it will not be business as usual. This will be a dynamic government of action that will pursue the growth of Nigeria with documents, determination, and conviction. We will lead a result-driven administration where we set ourselves targets, clear timelines to ensure deliverables are met. We will be driven by what is best for Nigerians. I have deliberately chosen this opportunity of being here with you, but I will call my own, my number one constituency, who I see as the future of our great country, to make my intention known. I believe the Nigerian youth are critical to rebuilding and growing the economy and restoring our national pride. I therefore ask you, and all many welcome Nigerians, join hands with me in these global calls. My brothers, my sisters, let's grow Nigeria together. God bless you. God bless the Thank you, please be seated.